Good Saturday afternoon, everyone. How's everybody doing today? Good Saturday. Uh, hold up, hold up. I'm a rookie. Rookie, rookie. All right. I'm back. Scott's in Vegas? What? How in the world? How's it going, CJ? Yeah, I'll be in Vegas tomorrow. So I get to leave the heat of the south and go to the heat in the west. <clears throat> so, good times. But the heat in Vegas is probably going to feel better than the heat in Huntsville. If I had to guess. Hey, Adam. So, did anybody have any great finds today? Did everybody get out of the heat and suffer? There was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was hot AF here too. The hum it, it's the humidity. It's it's probably ninety. Well, we'll see what it is. It's probably ninety something outside now. No, it's eighty seven. But the heat index is probably a hundred, if I had to guess. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I called Scott earlier. Scott slept in. And um, he sent me a picture of his hotel room, and he has a lot of work to do before he has to pick everybody up at the airport tomorrow night because he's full. His room is packed out. Hey, Kathy. That's right, Greg. It is a, it is a killer. <clears throat> I was going to see if I could see what the heat index here. Hey, Andy. Humidity is 64% right now. Feels like 95 outside right now. <clears throat> hey, Donatella. Hey, Karen. Got done all my um, errands, but store on vacation. Oh, I got to put my store on vacation. I need to do that. So the, the sales today were, they were fair. Swamp butt weather. That's exactly. That's a good. That's a good adjective for that. Sales were so so. It seemed like most sales were terrible, but you'd get to one sale and you would find three or four things. So, um, that kind of a couple sales probably kind of saved the day. Change your handling also. What I do on mine, I've, I've heard people talk about putting it on vacation and then also changing the handling time. You can also, when you go on vacation, you can do put on vacation mode. And I think there's a, a box below it that you can hide all of the auctions so they can't be purchased. That's what I did um, when I went to Austin. Then when I came back, I just put it back in regular mode. Went to one chart. Everything was free. Now, was there good stuff for free or was there night? What is up? Mr. Knight. Was everything free that was good or was everything free that was bad? I saw some um, some bad free bins today. Bose Way Radio and Lego. Wow. They just gave up. That's nice. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, <laughs> okay, so I went to the, a sale today. I'm going to start the show off with this. I've already told Scott. They had these shirts folded, and I was flipping through the shirts. I'm going to try to fold this shirt like I uh, found it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is what I saw when I went into the room and looked at this shirt pose. And I'm like, I need to see what that shirt says. I need to know what the rest of this shirt says. So flipped it open and I have found my new motto. Boats and hoes. Boats and hoes. <laughs> it was 50 cents so you had to buy right bros bros before that's right exactly Craig 
What's up, Mr. Pat D's? And I bought another shirt for me. I bought um, El Guapo Tequila. 50 cent. Came by, give a thumbs up. I'm gonna go take a nap. No sleep last night. I'm exhausted. Well, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. We will see you later on. <clears throat> I'm on a boat. That's right. T Pain. Heather, how are you? Did you get out and uh, find anything today? 50 cent. 50 cent hose. That's what it was. 50 cent ho day at the yard sales. Better than ouch. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's exactly right. Uh, having a sign on thumbs up. Oh, come on, Craig. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, bros before. Remember? Bros before. <laughs> uh, so any, oh gosh, any Harlanet that has a boat and moves to the top of the list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So let's see. So I got those two shirts at a yard sale. That actually, that was an estate sale slash yard sale. That's the um, that's the same sale that me and Scott went to a couple weeks ago. I bought the the fishing poles for fifty cents a piece, and those sold for eleven this past Thursday. So I'm driving down through there, and it's like they've got it again. So I bought those two shirts, and I bought two or three other items. And I don't even see them. I don't know. Ooh, I left them on the front porch. I'll have to go get that in just a minute. Uh, I think if 50 cents goes, we'd move before, bro. <laughs> oh, Heather, I said, did you get out and find anything today? Oh, and also, uh, Pat D seventy two is in the chat tonight at ten o'clock central. I'm going to be on his show. It's Pat, uh, Eric, Jason, uh, Banano, which is Banana Fines, and me. Well, I'll be on his show. He wants me to come on there and talk about auctions. So ten o'clock central on Pat D seventy two. Yeah, that is, that's a discount, Craig. Fifty cent. That would be that would be cheap. That that's one in Vegas. I bet. I bet they didn't get that one in Vegas. What about yard sales end of summer? Maybe desperate sellers or all good stuff going by then. Um, a lot of people. I mean, I I don't think it gets any any less stuff toward the end of the of the year. I had never really uh, experienced that. Um. Oh, and Craig, Craig will also be, Landshark Picker will be on the show tonight too, Pat D72. So y'all come and, uh, y'all come over there and check us out at 10 o'clock p.m. Central Time. <clears throat> uh, let's see, PayPal, $39.99, haven't seen. <laughs> so I found that the last yard sale I went to today was like two roads up from me. They didn't, they weren't open when I went by, they had no signs. Came back through. It was probably eleven o'clock, and I don't do not know why this jacket was or coat was still there, but it was. This is a Harley Davidson jacket. It's got the uh, Harley Davidson there, and that's just a it's just a cool jacket. So this was five dollars. So I do not know why that was still there. I found Legos for a dollar a box at about ten forty-five today. No idea why that was still there. <clears throat> so that's one thing. Never give up. There go the views. Missed it by that much, Pat. Something. <laughs> Afternoon, happy Sunday, 95 here, 109, humidity is 65. Uh, where, what, where is that one at? What city? That could be, man, today, that could be anywhere, the northeast, anywhere. <clears throat> it was too hot, I had to stop. 
I went to, wow, Long Island. I know the, I know that y'all are not used to that. That's rough here. I can imagine. I mean, we, we see that down here in the South on a regular basis. It's still hot, but it's, um, you kind of get used to it, but I know that y'all don't see that that much. So I got some 92 Donruss, 92 leaf, West leaf, uh, Donruss triple threat. <clears throat> There's not a lot of value in these as they fall out the bottom of the, that's nice. Oh, they've got them upside down in those. That's great. So there's uh, there's some Barry Bonds in here, some 92 Bonds. There is um, Ozzy Smith, Tony Gwynn, Dale Murphy. So if I was just purchasing these, well, I mean, I did purchase these to resell them. There's, there's no value in these for eBay. Zero. Even at 50 cents. I paid 50 cents for all of these, all these sheets. Oh, for eBay, there's zero value. You could put these out there for a dollar. You would not sell it. With free shipping, you would not sell it. Yeah, Kathy, or Karen, that was a, that was a nice find for five. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, only in Minnesota, 95. Wow. So here's some uh, Jose Canseco, uh, blah, blah, blah. Frank Thomas. You know, there's some decent names in here. So most of y'all know that I sell at an auction in South Tennessee. For those of you who don't, this is where these will go. I will, I will lay all these out. And I, what I'll do is when they take a picture of these, Sometimes you really can't see what's in it. So what I do is I get a index card, just an index card like this with a big black Sharpie. And I'll put on there like what it is, like 92 uh, Donner's triple threat. And I'll put like there's two Barry Bonds and there's, you know, a Conseco and stuff like that. Just so they'll un understand and can see what's there. So, will this go for a lot of money at the auction? No. Probably, if I had to guess, 4 to $6. But it's 50 cents into that. So, it's not a, not a lot on one thing. But, you know, if you find 100 of these, which I do, I mean, I find a lot of little stuff like this to flip from 50 cents and a dollar up to, you know, four, six, eight. That adds up over time. And it's easy. I pick it up, gave him the 50 cents, brought it home. I'll write it down on my little sheet, put it in my bin to go up there. When I get up there, I put it on the table, and I'm done. It's easy. So there's no, no listing, no shipping, anything like that. Uh, Okay, let me see. I got a Logitech Trackball M570 for a dollar fifty. New on the box. It's kind of the box is damaged a little bit right here. It's just pushed in with some creases. But I looked this up on eBay. These are selling in the box. I saw one sell for twenty five free shipping. I saw another one sell for. 25 with $10 shipping. So I'll have to come in there. I'll go back and look. I may list it to like $29.99 with free shipping. So buck fifty. That was a good find. Four to five dollars. That's a bottle of water. <laughs> I know. That's uh I just hope I can find sweet tea. I may have to go to the arches because I know they have it in Vegas. Where was you at, Scott? Scott said that was his pickup. You weren't here. I looked. 
<laughs> Pilates. I know you're not going to believe this, but this is not for me. I know you're saying, Harlan, you probably do Pilates. I don't. It's just a flip. So, uh, 50 cents. Uh, I think it was 11 or $12 on Amazon. So, that's where that'll go. And I have not looked these up yet. These are the TDK 110s. These are... You look good doing Pilates. I don't know. I don't think I'll just sell it. <laughs> so, I got these. These were at the same yard sales as the Pilates and as the trackball mouse. These were a quarter a piece. So I did look them up. I bought them. And sometimes you have to lock these up to get enough. You know, I mean, they may be two or three dollars a piece. So you don't want to do them like one. So there's a McDonald's right across the street from Mandalay Bay. Yes, there is. And I hit that up every day that I was. Th Last time I went there, I stayed at Mandalay Bay. So yeah, I did hit up. Um, I did hit up McDonald's every morning. <clears throat> Let's see. They had fifty dollars on this. I did not see this price sticker when I went up to her and asked her how much the Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock was, and she said it's 10 bucks. So I looked inside. And the game is open. I guess they probably, yeah, they've had this out. They've put stickers on it. So this is, uh, this will be used. So I'll have to look. I don't know. If, I'm probably gated on Amazon. I'll have to look. Uh, mm -hmm. So this might be eBay, might be Amazon. I don't know. I'll have to. Uh, look that one up, but I thought that was a good find for ten dollars. Having the box and everything. I bought quite a bit of stuff at that. That was an estate sale. That was at a really, really nice house on a golf course. And they had had the house. The house was sold. The house was huge. And let's see. I've got one thing on the front porch. Hold up. I'm back. So I found a Sunbeam hair dryer, 1400. And I know what you're thinking. Nope, this is not for me either. For some reason, I don't need a hair dryer anymore. So, yeah, this is a, one of those hair dryers that I guess it pops up. Like you see in the um, beauty shops and stuff. So anyway, it was $2. Still with the tags and everything on it. So this will go to um, auction. Crazy banter on here. Boring. Oh, yeah. Yes, Scott. I mean, I mean, you had to go to Vegas and just ruin everything. What's up with that? I'll come out there and we'll start the banter in Vegas. <laughs> so I bought this. This will be the official game of Vegas. Twister. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> This is sealed. 
paid two dollars for this and I think it sells for like 12 bucks on Amazon if I finish that baby shouldn't going to be high for the me oh Lord well I'll be live twist her own drops woohoo I may need to take that to Vegas I don't know I'll see if I got room in my suitcase Twister with the girls on the strip. Now, that would be a video. As officer, that is your video right there. Right there. That's it. <clears throat> Twister with Officer Dangle. <clears throat> I saw one of these in Austin, Texas at the, I think it was a Goodwill. Who was that? This is girlfriend in a box. I think that's what they. Wait a minute. Hold up. No. CPR. CPR. Never mind. That's that was not what I. Wonder if I can take this back. Thought that was the old girlfriend in the box thing that they had. <laughs> now that's the CPR. This is a friends and family CPR anytime. Saw one exactly like this in uh, Austin, Texas. It was $6, but it wasn't in this good of shape. I bought this for a dollar today, and it sells for about 15 to 20 bucks. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, yeah. Person, personal yard sale. <laughs> uh, retiring the black What? <laughs> You see, anyways, retiring the plush. I don't even know what to think about that one. <laughs> Speaking of plush, I picked this up today. I have not looked this one up, <clears throat> but plush sales. This one looked, it's clean. This is My Little Pony. And this was 50 cents. So uh, don't worry, you can get a girlfriend in a box in Vegas. Yeah, I don't know. Hold up your kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of practice. I gotta get gotta get going. <clears throat> so I have not looked this up. I started looking up plush the other day. And uh Brony <laughs> I started looking some plush up on eBay, just completed, just scrolling down through there. And I started realizing how much money I have left at some of these yard sales because a lot of times people will have, they'll have a box or a bag of this stuff. And a lot of times, I mean, like this here, I mean, it's clean. It's like brand new. All the stuff they had at that house was, was very nice. And, um, as soon as I saw the My Little Pony in this, I was like, that's got to be worth, that's got to be worth something. So me and Scott have talked about this before about just, I mean, if it's 50 cents or a dollar or something like that, just get it. Just get it and go. Don't, I mean, you sit there, if you start looking up all this stuff, then how many other yard sales down the line have you missed out on? because you eat up two or three minutes here and two or three minutes here. Now, if it's something more expensive, then, yeah, you can look it up. Pump of gas when it hears girlfriend in a box. Could sing the Justin Timberlake song. That, that you probably get in trouble at the gas station. I know, Scott. I did it again. I looked. I bought something without looking it up. Come up to Madisonville. I got you know, I'm going right now. Madison. Oh, Madisonville, Tennessee. It's got to be hard for one day and turns to a brownie. <laughs> so where is Madisonville, Tennessee uh, compared to like Nashville? That just popped in my head. Now, now I'm singing the song with Justin Timberlake song. Yeah, I, w I would sing it. But yeah, we'll keep this PG-13 ish. Ish. So the same yard sale. I went to this yard sale first today. 
because I like their pictures. And uh, between Chattanooga and Knoxville, okay. I hadn't been to Knoxville in a long time. Well, Sevierville, up in that area. <clears throat> so I went to that yard sale because the first thing I saw was pictures of Pokemon cards. So I said, that's interesting. I need to go to that one first. So I bought 50 cent there. I paid... Hey, the dollar. I have not looked this one up yet either. This is, it's called Super Bit. I'm not even sure how I'm going to look this one up, but it's a DVD. A lot of this stuff has a cult following. I sold that uh, VHS tape that I got at the Benz in Nashville. It was an anime VHS tape from 90, early 90s, mid 90s. I sold it for 40 bucks. So, I mean, stuff like this. Can, can do well. So this was a dollar. I picked this up. Also picked up Crochet Made Easy. Again, not for me. Hard to believe, but it's not. This was selling for 35 or so on Amazon. So I think this was 50 cents a buck, something like that. She, she lighted it all together because I bought a bunch of other... Um, little stuff over here and I don't know what these are I don't remember what she called them last time I bought something like this they were um, that would be great for your flight <laughs> okay I bought these I do not remember what these are I bought a bag of the LOL surprise hold on these are, does anybody know about Palace Pets? So I do not know about these, but I know how much the, um, the LOL dolls things I did went for. So... Carol, you leave him alone. He goes, he goes weird. Brony, girlfriend in a box, watch out, Vegas. Hoes, boat. I tell you, palace pets, hoes, and boats. And in, we're trying to make an interesting show, folks. Trying to make it entertaining, okay? So, anyway, palace pets. Uh, they're the Dins. Oh, okay. The Dinsy, Disney Princesses Animals. Yo, what's up, Kent? So I don't know the value of this. I bought this for five bucks. And then I bought some other stuff. What else did I get? These are, I got to get better with my names and things. These are, somebody's going to know what those are. These are the, is it ah not I want to say chia it's not chia it's the little uh I tell you I, I start my first video and I shaved my head and went crazy that's it oh, I got recognized again today that's the third time still weird but it's cool though nice you have uh, John has <laughs> some toys for your future stepkids no no. No step kids. So I picked these up too. These are the littlest, ah, littlest pet shop. Same one had littlest pet shop for uh, a dime a piece. So they had uh, they had five of these. So those were fifty cents. Yep, BP's a bad influence on me, making me go crazy. It's a return order of the police. So I keep running into people on YouTube who, who thinks that I'm a cop. There's been three that said, wait, wait a minute. You are not a cop. It's like, I am not a cop. It was a joke. 
Somebody made a comment on my first video that I looked like a cop and they ran with it. So I'm not a cop. Maybe. I think his girlfriend's kids are grown. You know more than me. If you, if I have a girlfriend, I don't, you're a cop. <laughs> I'm not a cop. And I don't have a girlfriend. And yeah. So there we go. And I'm going to Vegas tomorrow. That's all I know. Uh, here's another one that I have not looked up yet. It is Scrabble. Catchphrase, a dollar. Catchphrase usually does very well. It's kind of like riding around with a dare sticker. Yes, you do. I, you need to inform me, Carol. I don't know who it is if, it, if I do. So, like I said, I haven't looked this one up yet. Some of the other ones, they're just, they're just like black with white writing. Those do... Those do well. Uh, first time, yeah, it's a cop convention in Vegas. So I'll be out there in Vegas. So like I say, have a look this one up. I figured maybe a special edition would do just as well. So uh, pick that up for buck. I look these up on... I'm blocked in these because somebody has said Sony sales. Can't remember who that was. I'm just, just kind of, it's in the head, you know, just kind of hear it. Uh, I'm FBI on my Facebook. <laughs> hey, Mr. Sadie. So let's see. I'm going to. So I'm blocked on this one on, I have requested approval. This is, come on, work with me, work, come on, really? Okay, I can't see it, so I know y'all can't see it. Anyway, $32.99 on Amazon, it's number five in electronics. For me to go on eBay. And then there was some TDK DVR dash R. Same thing as the other ones, but these are all in the in the cases. So I paid five bucks for the stack of those. Uh, so this is where are the kids are at avoiding. Working, watching. <laughs> yep. It's just me today. So, uh, Carlin, do you ever send in books to Amazon? I have sent some books into Amazon. I've got a bunch here that I need to. I, I don't do a lot on Amazon. Uh, I want to. I want to sell, resell a whole lot more than what I do, but work's killing me right now. Um, the three weeks leading up to going to Austin, I put in 40 hours overtime over those three weeks. And I'm going to Vegas tomorrow. And I'm going, um, I'll have about probably 15 hours overtime this week. I'm trying to get ready because I've just got so much stuff in my office. Got to keep her day job. I definitely have to keep my day job. So I got ah, it's backwards over here. PS2s, a little bit of everything. Not a whole lot of money in these. Some of them are all right, but those were a buck a piece. Star Wars 2, Star Wars the video game. They're all PlayStation 2. Uh, Tech, Soccer Mania. This is the uh, Namco Museum. It's got all the cool games on it. Uh, Dig Dug, Galaga, Pole Position, and Pac-Man, and Sonic Heroes, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. 
Any thoughts about going full time in the future? Well, uh, down the road, but I have I have really good benefits, like really really good benefits at my job, like Google type benefits. Um, so down the road, I will at some point, but um, let's see. Hold on, he said, you need to do some lots and go on Mothership Products auction. I never watched their channel. Um, the place I work at pays for my kids' college, and I mean. I get free health insurance and I mean I've got like really really good and even better than that I got flex time I can come and go as I please work from home so that allows me to get out and do a lot of stuff if I want to I want to run to um, I want to run run to Goodwill I can just clock out run down to Goodwill right quick and come back as long as I get my job done then everything's fine if I feel like taking stuff home one day and just working at home, just do that. Definitely hard to find, Kent. That's that's why it's. Uh, I mean, we we have a cook on staff who cooks every day. Big table, salad bar. We have. I mean, I could go on and on on the perks that we have, and we get to eat on the clock. We don't even have to clock out. So. Yeah, it's it's hard to beat and hard to leave right now. Bought this one, and I, I'm looking at the front of the box and of what is in it, and then I open it up, and it's like, why is these tires in this box? There's uh, there's not supposed to be tires in here, so I don't know what all this goes to. So something tells me I bought like five boxes of Legos. Lego. I bought that and that. Oh, hold up. That one. And I'm sure that these are missing pieces and um, pieces will be moved around and, and other stuff. And I probably won't have time to look at a lot of this. Here's um, there's one. It's Avengers. There. All of these were a dollar a box. So I ended up paying five dollars for all of this. And let's see. We got. God, this camera's backwards in the film. And then there was one more that had this one stuck in an HP box. So I don't know. This is some kind of Lego thing with uh, cars. There's some kind of car. I don't think all this goes to the same. This is probably just a jumbled mess. I don't know what I've never I have no idea what this is some kind of big thing with a cable It's got a USB port on it. Oh, it's got a thing on the back uh, I can look that up It may even tell right here what it is That's something with magic the gathering. I Don't know Something I'll look up but me and Scott was talking about this. I think I was I was on Scott's show last night. He had a he went live out there from his place at I think it was ten o'clock last night. And you know, right now the yard sales are good. A lot of yard sales. And you can buy a whole lot of stuff right now. And even if you don't have time to list it, like these Legos, there's no way I have time to look at this right now. But what I'll do is I'll stack them up. It's hot now, but guess what? It won't be long before it's going to be fall, and you'll see less yard sales, and it'll be wintertime, and there'll be no yard sales. So that's when you can go back 
pull from your old stock and list the stuff because this is when you find your stuff cheap right now. This is the uh, this is the good the good times because I mean if you go out to yard sales and if you do thrift stores and stuff like that, you see what Goodwill and stuff is doing, right? They are going up and up and up and up and they're scanning their own books. And they're sending stuff. They have their own eBay pages. I wouldn't doubt if they send stuff into Amazon. Would not shock me at all. Because they are out to make as much money as they can. I don't know how much money they give back. But they're out to make as much money as they can. The Lassenman. I think I said that right. How are you? Um... So, see, when Scott's not here, I get to pick up the Scott things. So, this is uh, AT&T manual for and the phones. It's uh, They paid $83 for this a couple years ago. But this is a phone base. Phone goes in this one. And then it's got... Two other phones, so it's three phones. What's up, Mr. Brian? And it's got the bases. So I looked these up right quick. Scott shot me a bird from Las Vegas. What the hell? <laughs> you got nothing. To, if they saw the picture of your room, they would see how much money you made. I made a little bit. You made a lot. So... Um, Anyway, I looked up a few of those. There was even some of the phones, just the, the, the one little base with the phone was $14 or $15 used. So Yeah, he, that's right, Mr. Sadie. I'm number one. Scott just Scott just showed everybody that I'm number one. 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 <laughs> so what was everybody's big find for the day? the ones that went out this morning and braved the heat throughout this nation of ours. Let's see. Great news. So I think this may be my last item. I'll look in just a second. I found some drops on the desk. <laughs> Are you selling those? Supposed to be 115. Yeah, Brian, it's it's going to be ugly. So as soon as I finish um, this show, I'm going into my backyard and cut grass. So mom and dad, I know you're watching right now, and you're going to say, wait till 7 o'clock tonight. I can't because I leave tomorrow and I waited last night and I, I bagged my front yard. I usually get one and a half to two bags from my push more off the front yard. I got at least eight yesterday and my backyard will probably be about 20 to 25 because it's a lot worse. Yes, my, my parents are watching and I was talking about hoes and boats. So sorry, mom. <laughs> so I picked this up Logitech 900 it's um, I've never used one of these but anyway it had all the stuff with it I found my wife's new washing machine <laughs> so this was Five dollars and this is how hardly needs it. No, oh my God, Scott! Uh, <laughs> you know my thoughts on that. Russian bride. I told. There's a friend of mine who was uh, supposedly talking about going to Russia to uh, get him a bride. 
and um, I told him he was crazy. And my mom said, "There's there was a couple people in our church did the same thing." I said, "Well, they're crazy as hell too, crazy as hell." Can I get an amen? And check. Harlan. <laughs> No. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I think that. Yeah, let me look one more time. So yeah, that's uh. Well, except for the the brownie bag that the kids were selling. And no, these are not the uh, special special brownies. These are regular brownies that a kid was selling at a yard sale. So support your kids buying or selling lemonade and cookies and brownies. I try to do that every time because I remember when I was a kid and I did that, I wanted people to buy stuff for me. I remember people walking away thinking, God, what a jerk. So I'm trying not to be that jerk. Mm -hmm. Bunch of Spanish women at the border looking for. Oh, no, 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 no. A uh, man hired a person. Yep. Oh, I did get some amens. <laughs> you arrested someone and took their stash. <laughs> you know, I, you, you, you see that on TV and they're like, Man, they found fifty thousand dollars in cash. It's like, yeah, sure they did. They probably found about two hundred thousand in cash, and kept one hundred fifty, and said, "We found fifty thousand in cash." I mean, what what's the guy gonna do? I had two hundred thousand in cash from selling drugs. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, all righty. Um, Unless anybody has any questions or any more comments, then I guess I am done and I am about to go sweat it out. Not looking forward to this. Is that what you do when you arrest people with cash? I do. That's why I'm a millionaire. No, I'm just kidding. You know that happens though. I, every time I see that, they're like, with his face and down uh, <laughs> Sun is that sun dry pickers? See you later. Um, come get my riding mower. I had a riding mower at my old house. I had a 60 inch uh, John Deere because I had two and a half acres. There are better way to sweat it out. Yes, there is, Scott. Thanks for reminding me that. Um, Sold a radio to France just now. Nice. I need to. I don't have my international stuff set up. I need to. I need to do the um, uh, GSP. But anyway, I sold my John Deere mower, and my yard here is in a neighborhood. It's it's smallish. It's not when it's hot and and thick like this. It's. But anyway, I just I just kept my push mower so. Um, does have that new tall <laughs> Yeah, I got to turn on my GSP. I had it on at one time, and then I forgot why I turned it off. Yeah, it's going to be fun in Vegas. Uh, Swoop Man 1972. Um, for those of you, you can't, you can't send messages through YouTube. If you're going to be out in Vegas... And you're like trying to find like where we're at at different times. If you have Instagram, you can send messages through Instagram. Go to Instagram and you can follow me at Harlan's Reselling Adventures. And uh, once you get out there, send me a message and maybe everybody can meet up at different places out there throughout the week. And um, yeah, it's going to be fun. I look forward to meeting a lot of people. That's uh, that's one of the fun parts, especially today when people come up and start talking to you and they tell you that you that they watch your videos and stuff. That's that's actually pretty cool. I know some people's afraid to come up to people. Never be afraid to do that because uh, that's the fun part of of reselling and stuff is is meeting people who um, 
some kick, yeah, hopefully some kickball. That's right. It's fun, fun meeting people that that do stuff like you that are you know like minded and and you know, have the same interest and, and stuff like that. So, uh, um, anyway, so that is it. I will be live in Vegas all next week. So if you're not subscribed to me, subscribe and hit the little bell right next to the thing. That will give you a notification when I go live, and it's going to be a lot. We're going to go down the Strip. We're going down Fremont Street. So if you're not going to be in Vegas, but you want to be in Vegas, follow me. So um, <laughs> Scott, housekeeping just showed up and said, oh, Lordy. <laughs> This room is packed. So anyway, that's it. I will catch y'all. Either see you personally in Vegas or I'll see you on my phone through Vegas. I am a gambler, so I, I, I will gamble some. All right, that's it. Peace. Thanks for watching.